1971 in the Pentecostal Christ book you know, so my wife love and the kids sing. Yeah.
We are his dependents. We depend upon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without him, we can do nothing. With him, we can do all things. What the Bible says, and I believe the word of the Lord is true. Amen. I keep on. I don't think there's a mistake anywhere in the word of truth. The Bible says, even though we're talking about that uh, in the Psalms, it talks about how perfect the word of the Lord was. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank it's you. perfect. Thank because, you. you know, in the beginning, I love that scripture. But in the beginning, it wasn't the word. That's right. The word was with God. And the word was God. That's right. The word was made flesh. That word you, was made flesh. The Spirit of the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary. As you can see. And brought forth the Son that was born of the Word. You got that? I said He was born of the Word. And He was the manifested Word of God. And He is the manifested Word of God. All right. Somebody come sing song, Sister Walker's already sitting up here. All right. Good. Bless her, Lord. Yes. Good to see Sister Mark, Brother Wayne. Yes. I know he's been going through it. And I know the Lord has been right beside him the whole way. It's going to continue right, to be so. Looking for him to get strengthened back up on that left side. Yes, Lord. Yes, you know, that left side is what he makes, he makes his, you are right-handed, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah, he makes his he makes his keys with the left hand, so his right hand is great. And he's still strong, you know, whatever picks his strength. But he's got to get that left hand working back. And I believe it's going to happen. That's right. Yes, sir. The Lord's going to heal him. Hallelujah. <coughs> A country where no twilight shadows ever seen by.
all those things and more. Hallelujah. But somebody said, well, where is heaven? Well, it doesn't really matter where heaven is. As long as Jesus is there, I believe I'm in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm with him. Then that's exactly where I want to be. Right where he is. Wherever he is. Hallelujah. All right. Sister Michelle. Since you're the youngest, I get you first. Thank you. 
Brother Jerry, because I didn't know what was coming about. But I knew that I just wanted to hold on to Jesus. Oh, yeah, he's the best friend you, Jesus. I've ever had. He's a friend. He's one that sticks closer than a brother. Yes. Hallelujah. He's good. He's good. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
It had to be nice and wide. It really worked well for us, didn't it? He pulled it off in the right place. <laughs> Uh, but I don't think he pulled off fast enough because that little tire was torn to shreds. There wasn't hardly nothing left on it. Uh, but anyway, we lo- we got finally got the lawnmower off. We couldn't get it to crank. And uh, so we had to put ramps. We took ramps with us. We put the ramps on the little trailer and rolled the lawnmower down. And one of the ramps fell off. And uh, lawnmower, I thought it was going to tip over on Brother Bill, but... It didn't, and thank God for that. Yeah. But um, I anyway, I think they're gonna let it go down that long hill on that driveway. Yeah, yeah, just keep rolling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we found we got the long war up on the trailer. We pushed it up there, and uh, then we unhooked the trailer. And, uh, Brother Bill grabbed the tongue and was pulling it up the trailer and on the ramp. And uh, me and Brother Junior was pushing from the back. And at one time it fell off of one of the ramps, and me and Brother Junior picked it up and set it back up on there. <laughs> so, you know, we had fun. But that was all right. But no problem at all. I mean, we just doing work for the Lord, trying to take care of his house and everything. Got the Bible, turn with me to Revelations. That form. We're uh, studying Revelations and seeing what God has revealed to us because that's what Revelations means to, revel- uh, to reveal something. Okay. Something has got to be revealed. We're working on it. How do I get back into Hebrew? Okay. Uh, anyway, I have been looking. I got three Bibles up here, y'all. Every one of them is the same kind of Bible, though. Uh, but some of them got different footnotes in it and everything, and I like kind of using the references that something that they have sometimes. So we're going to work on we're going to work on that for the time being. I get this microphone in a Chapter 4, we read it and went through it and talked about it a little bit last Wednesday night. We're going to go through it and talk about it again. Try to add some things in uh, from different parts of the Bible. Because in in my studying, I I can't tell you right off the bat, Brother Brad probably to it, but... uh, I have to depend upon the Lord to show me what He wants me to know. Amen. And I listen to people that teach and God, you teachers had to be taught too. Amen. You know, and Paul said he wasn't taught me, man. He went right. to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost taught him. Amen. That is everything. Alright, so In chapter 4, verse 1, it says, I don't need that one. That right there is, that right there is a little bright in my eyeballs tonight. All right, so we'll go with these two. Anyway, and, uh, like I said, we've already went through it last Wednesday night, but I wanted to do it again tonight. And see what else we can find. Because over in uh, Isaiah, Ezekiel, there are references to to some of these uh, things that we're talking about here. And I was look, kind of looking for the scriptures to them, but uh, where exactly they're at. But I played my Bible at night, and I played Ezekiel from Ezekiel Isaiah the other night, and I done Ezekiel home to Matthew last night. And when he got to Matthew, somebody else started reading besides Alexander Scorby, and I turned it off. Uh, I got to set up my playlist where to play off of that that way I want to. 
But anyway, it says that after this I looked, and behold, the door was opened in heaven, and the first voice, which I heard were, was as it were a trumpet, of a trumpet, talking with me. Now, some people maybe think that this trumpet here is the trump, same trump of God. But this is not. This is, we have different references to trumpets being sounded. Like, uh, there's going to be, what is it, trumpet sounds when the seals are open or something like that? But well, we ain't got that far yet. That's no, that's no metal up there yet. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it says that the son sits with his father. Why? Yeah, because he is the father. You know, the Bible says that, and in, in also in Isaiah, it talks about one sitting on the throne. The heavens opened and there was one sitting on the throne. And they, he told of his appearance. Now, uh, I wish I had them scriptures handy uh, where I could take them to them. I thought maybe they might be in this in this Bible here, but they, I don't see them. But, uh, and then in Ezekiel, uh, it also talks about one, and I believe that kind of starts maybe in chapter one. It talks about the the uh, four beasts, but these four beasts, we got there again in this, in this, yeah, but these four beasts only had four wings. But, uh, there was another place that Isaiah saw the four, and they had six wings. Chapter 6 of Isaiah. Chapter 6 of Isaiah was where that was at. There's the seraphim. Yeah, the seraphim. And, but they have the face. Right. We're at chapter 6, I'm in 25. Yeah, I want to kind of reference it a little bit. Uh, but I've been so busy working here. Chapter 6? Yeah. I... Oh, that's Song of Solomon. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay, now this is where Isaiah uh, saw the Lord sitting upon a throne. High and lifted up and his train filled the temple. Now, here it says that he uh, there was a sound of a trumpet and the angel or whoever it was said, Come up hither and I will show thee, show thee things which must be hereafter. So over here it talks about, it says that it, uh, it talks about the, well, we've got to go on down because I'm, and immediately he said, I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. He saw the Lord sitting on the throne in chapter 6, verse 1. So, would that mean one Lord? I believe it's one Lord. One faith. One baptism. So, when he saw the Lord sitting on the throne, it was one Lord. And he saw one sat on the throne here in Revelation. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper in another place that talks about some of this stuff too. In, in Ezekiel and Isaiah, I believe it is, both of them that talk about it a little bit. Sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like into an emerald. And we got talking that the, the, the other night that the rainbow was as an emerald, and I believe an emerald is green, isn't it? An emerald is green, so... This rainbow had was green, but it, you know how diamonds sparkle and uh, uh, emeralds probably sparkle and the light shimmers across them. So it may be in different hues of green. So if that's what the color of an emerald, then I think that's right. But anyway, it goes on. And around about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And we said that these were the twelve patriarchs and the twelve disciples, or the twelve apostles, that uh, are going to 
be there. And and I read another place where it said that he would tell told them that he would uh, make them like kings. But anyway, let's go on down. And said no, I won't, I, we may visit this again. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And we see that over here it said that he talking about, and above it stood the seraphim. We still ain't got there yet. All right, verse 6 says, that Before the throne there was a sea of glass, like unto crystal and in the midst of the throne and around about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And then it says that there was four beasts here are the seraphims. It stood above the above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings with twain he covered his face and with twain he covered his feet and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another. And see, it's going to be just like this right here in verse 8. He's the same thing. They're crying. Right. Holy, holy, holy. And let's see right here. Verse 3, chapter 6 in Isaiah. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Amen. Well. The Lord of hosts is the God, Lord God Almighty. I don't think that that's a typo. I think that's exactly what it means. He's the Lord of hosts. He is the Lord Almighty. So they're giving Him glory. And it said in Revelation that they don't cease to do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had the face of a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts, each of them had six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rested not day and night. They didn't rest. Not one time did they ever rest. So this was a, this is a constant thing that's being said to the Lord God yes. Almighty, day and night. Yes. Holy, holy, holy. Yeah. It's the Lord God Almighty, right. the Lord of hosts. Yeah, I mean, how great He is! Amen. We ain't even begin to we ain't even begin to to uncover just how great the Lord is. Right. If we can get really get in the Spirit of God and really get in the mind of Christ, yeah. what we got to put on is yes. that mind. Yes. Put on that mind of Christ. And you know, I was thinking about dementia a while ago, and and the Alzheimer's and stuff like that. But you know what? You get in the mind of Christ, right. and you stay in the mind of yeah. Christ. I don't believe in dementia. I don't believe in Alzheimer's. I believe in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Gives us a sound mind. Hallelujah. And they cried, Holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of His glory. Can you not feel it? Can we not feel the glory of the Lord in the earth? How I mean, I know that the devil's on a rampage and he's trying to divert everybody that he can and trying to hinder everybody that he can. But let me tell you something. Jesus Christ is more powerful than the devil is in the day of the Hallelujah. There's no, there's no power on earth or beneath the earth or above the earth. There's that's no right. power that's more mightier than His power. Right. His power is great. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. And the post of the door moved at the voice of Him that cried. Now look, this, this cry made the doorpost move. And the house was filled with smoke. Then Isaiah said, Behold, I am of unclean lips. I'm about to die. You know why he thought he was about to die? Because he was a man of unclean lips. But the Lord sent one of the, I believe it was one of the seraphims, wasn't it? Yes, sir. He said, Then one flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal 
bowl in his hand, yes, sir. which he had taken with the tongs from off of the altar. You know, there's a fire burning on the altar. Yes, and there's some live coals on that altar. Now, the seraphim didn't reach down with his hand and pick it up. He reached in there with some tongs and picked it up. And when he brought it down to where Isaiah was, he touched the live coal to his lips. Right. Amen. Now that's the fire of God. That's right. Our God is a consuming fire. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lord, this had touched my thy lips. And thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, and also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I sin? That's what the voice of the Lord was saying then. How who shall I sin? Now the voice of the Lord here is trying to tell us of the things that's about to happen to this earth and to the people upon this earth. Right. Verse 9, Revelation 4. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, there's no, there's no dying. He, he's not going to die. He's not going to ever go back to the cross. Oh, no. Hallelujah. He's not going to ever endure that shame anymore, that disgrace. He took that one time. That's right. The rock was right. to be smitten That's right. one time. Right. Hallelujah. So that was Christ to be smitten. Right. And people today, they want to smite him again. Right. They want to keep smiting him. They want to keep sending him to the cross. But let me tell you something. He's not going back That's to the cross. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's free from that. He lives forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worshiped him that liveth forever and ever. And they cast their crowns before them. Psalm sister, Martha, sons and I. That is, this is just what heaven means to me. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'll be cast in my crown, but I know the four and twenty elders do, and I believe that I will too. I'll cast my crown before me. That's another song. For he's my king eternally. That's why I'm in love with Jesus. That's why I'm in love with Jesus. Because he's in love with me. That is true. I've got me love. How do you for the love that can ever be felt? Yes, God. How is Jesus Christ in you? The hope of glory. And they cast their crowns before the throne saying, Thou art worthy. That's the song too. O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things. For Thy pleasure they are and were created. But I want to go back over here now. In Isaiah. And so the Lord was looking for somebody to sin, sin. To go to the house of Israel. And it said in verse 10, it said, And make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. See, we can convert ourselves to righteousness and be healed. Amen. Yeah, we got to put it on. Amen. Mark Watkins has got to put on righteousness. Hallelujah. Do away with the mind of the flesh and right. think righteous thoughts. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, sometimes the devil sneaks, still sneaks in, don't he? Amen. He does. He sneaks in and tries to make you do things that you wouldn't normally do because that's his job. Amen. Let me tell you something. The devil is working overtime. Right. He knows that his time is short and he's yes. working overtime to, to defeat... God's people. Amen. But he's not going to feed them because yes, um, the Lord is the one that 
does does the work. All right, I want to look at one thing here. I'm not finding the, the Ezekiel stuff, but I believe one of them is actually, again, where it talks about the four beasts. It talks about it, I think, it's in the first chapter. Uh, I just want you to know that these things have been, these four beasts have been around for quite a while. Daniel 7. Daniel 7? And behold, in this horn 
were eyes like the eyes of a man and a mouth speaking great things. All right, that was the fourth beast all about him. Now these in Ezekiel 1 and 5 that had the appearance they had the likeness of man. And everyone had four faces and everyone had four wings. Now, I don't understand the wings. It's probably different different ones. Go ahead, Brother Brad. Got a Like you said, in the speaks of the seraphim having six wings, mm -hmm. here in Ezekiel it speaks of the four living creatures having four wings. In Revelation, those, those living creatures had four wings also. It's kind of strange. They, all had, they had four faces of the ones in Ezekiel, exactly like the four faces of Revelation. Both mm -hmm. having... You know, right. different wing counts when you go to the ceremony. It's right. six and four. It's not easy to understand why the wing counts are different. That's what I'm saying. You know, they have the same appearance yeah. other than that, don't they? Yeah. And the ones in Ezekiel, Daniel, Ezekiel. Yeah, Ezekiel, Ezekiel had, everyone had four wings. Right, verse six. Uh-huh. And their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a cast foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Now these seraphims and these beasts that they call them here in Revelation call them the beasts, but in Daniel and uh, in Ezekiel they called them, or where was that a while ago? In Isaiah they, they were seraphims. Seraphims Isaiah 6. Uh-huh. So he had these night visions in Daniel and uh, about the horns. Now we don't want, I don't think I want to go no further than just yet in Daniel 7. And the slaying of the beast, because all that's gonna line up back in Revelation a little further. And they had under their hands a uh, up under the and they had the hand of a man under their wings on their four sides, and they four had their faces and their wings. Now, didn't the seraphims over in Isaiah have man's hands too? It didn't say that. Somewhere it said that. I can't remember where. But anyway, these are notes that you can take down and go back and study because this is actually some good stuff. Well, it's all good stuff anyhow, but you know what I mean. But these creatures could only go straight. They couldn't turn. They couldn't, they couldn't turn. They went straight. Wherever the Spirit led them, that's where they went. Verse 12 in Ezekiel 1. And they went, everyone straight forward, whether the Spirit was to go, they went. And they turned not when they went. They didn't, this is some stuff that we I don't know that there is there's, there's a reason that this is written down yeah. I mean we don't quite understand everything but the Lord will bring the understanding to us if we'll study it and pray about it amen. I mean I believe I believe just what the Bible said I believe yeah. if any man like wisdom let him ask of him that giveth liberty and right. liberally to all men that pray is not. That means right. he gives it freely. To anybody that lasts. Yes. Because we got to ask. That's you right. know, somebody come with Jesus already knows what I need, yeah. He knows what you need. But he wants you to ask. Amen. Yes, Lord. You have not. There you go. You have not because you ask not. And when you ask, you ask the men. Yeah, and what we were talking about the other day, when we come to Jesus, the desires of our heart change. Yes. Our desires change. We yes. don't want wealth, no. fame. We, all we want again is more richer in Jesus. Lord, the more richer in Jesus, we yes. get the more power yes. we have in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And all that comes through the word of the Lord. The Bible says, how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach unless he's sin? Amen. So, I want, I, want, I want to know what the Lord said. Amen. Everything. I mean, I, I ain't ashamed of Jesus Christ. 
I'm ready. I want to know him. Yes, and the power of his word. If you can get filled with the word, you're good. Amen. Fill yourself up with the word. Amen. I'm talking about you got to do it in the, in the spirit right. and the truth. Amen. The word is truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. All right, if he's the way, the truth, then he's the truth. Right. That's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to interrupt you, though. No, go ahead. Okay. What I see, Brother Mark, in this again, in Ezekiel, it speaks of these creatures. They have, of course, like you said, four faces. The lion, an ox, uh, a man, and an eagle. Mm -hmm. In Revelation 4, it's the same faces. But it does say a calf. Yeah, it changes from an ox to right. a calf. It's the same. Same thing, okay. because the ox had a calf. And later in Ezekiel, you'll find what he's seeing are the cherubims. Right. There's four living creatures. Later he calls them cherubims. Mm -hmm. In Ezekiel 28, Satan at one time was the anointed cherub. Well, the anointed cherub. Now he's fallen or he he's fallen. passed down. So evidently it must have been five. But definitely he's gone. And there's four here that Ezekiel sees. Mm -hmm. in, in Revelation 4, John sounds to me like he sees the same ones, except here's the, the little glitch here. In right. Revelation 4, it speaks of six wings. Right. In Ezekiel, it speaks of four. Mm -hmm. But in the seraphims in Isaiah chapter 6, it speaks of six wings. Six wings. So I see a difference between the one in Ezekiel and the seraphims in Isaiah 6. It don't but, mean there can't be four different ones. Right, but, but there's different wing caps here. Right. And so it does seem like the ones in Revelation 4 and Ezekiel 1 are the same because of the faces, but there's different wing caps. Wing four caps. in Ezekiel, six in Revelation. But if you want to pull the seraphims in here, I believe another, it's another set of heavenly beings. It didn't mention anything about hands or faces there. It simply said they had six wings. Mm -hmm. And so, but these are the cherubims that Ezekiel saw, and evidently John saw the same ones. Same ones. But I don't understand the difference in the wing count. I've seen, seen that years ago, and still haven't yeah. quite figured that out. You know. Yeah. But Satan yeah. has fallen, so there's only four that remain. Right. But, uh, yeah, I'm with you there. I, I, I don't understand the wing count, but. They're still the same ones, I believe. There's a man on television, I don't follow him, but he said he was trying to say the ones in Ezekiel did have six, and two of them are like landing gears, or like some form of wheel and landing gear. But it says that they had four faces, and everyone had four wings. Uh -huh. There six of Ezekiel. So Ezekiel and, said four wings. Yeah, and then Ezekiel also said something about the wheel and the wheel. Right. That, that, that when the wheel right. lifted them up, it was right. up. So I don't know exactly what the wheel in the wheel right. was. A lot of people say that's where they prophesied about helicopters. Yeah. But I don't know. The UFOs, they say. Yeah. But it's one. It does speak, as you've already said, the hands of a man were under the wing. Mm -hmm. Then some try to say, well, the face of man points to Christ, his humanity, the eagle, his deity, and sacrifice, the ox, or the calf, and, 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 and the, you know, so forth. Some things are just speculation. But in Daniel, when you were there a moment ago, chapter 7, that's not talking about the seraphims or these living creatures. That's talking about empire. Right. When you get into Babylon, and in the Medes and the Persians, and the Greeks, and the Roman Empire, and they're, they're shown as being like beasts or creatures. But his kingdoms and rulers are dealing with there in Daniel chapter 7. Right. And Mark, uh, Revelation takes it up also what John saw. Right. Anybody else got it? Yeah, the hand. It's also. Yeah, the hand. It talks about the sheriff and the woman with the right. boat. I mean, this is, this is, a, this is, a, this is a, what's it called? This is a congregational thing, I mean, we're... Class participation. Yeah. <laughs> Open the city. I mean, like I said, it's not a one-man show. A lot of people think it is, but it's not. That's just strange, I said, brother, I brought a mark past 
chapter Mark, in chapter 10, verse 20, this is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river of Kibar, and I knew that they were the cherubim. The cherubim, the singular, is cher- but the I am, when you look, it's plurality. Uh-huh. Even God put cherubims with flaming swords to keep the way of the tree of life right. once Adam had sinned. They could right. have different, different, different operations. operations. I right. know there would be different cherubims. Right. Right. Some call these angels, it really doesn't say angels. Right. I believe these are a different group or, or different class of heavenly beings. They're not called ministering spirits necessarily. Yeah. Well, see, it's like, you they know, have there's a difference. Order. They have rank and order. There's a difference between Gabriel and Michael. Right. I mean, Michael's an angel, Gabriel's an angel. Right. But Michael's an angel of war. He's the archangel. The archangel. The head angel, one of the chief princes, Daniel saw. When they, when the, when Lucifer tried to take over heaven, the Bible says that Michael and his angels fall, and Satan and his angels fall. And there was a big fight up there, and Michael was at the head of it. And who was that? That uh, was that Gabriel that come? He was a messenger angel. He brought messages. He, he, he did have the prince of, of Persia, which was a not a physical man. You know who it is, but there was a principality that withstood him for three weeks, and then which Michael was, which was gave his him. aid and helped him. Yeah. Michael was the great prince in the last days, Daniel said, will stand up for Israel. Yeah. And I believe that war you mentioned is still is yet to come, Revelation yeah. 12. But Michael, his angels, they're going to fight against the dragon. Dragon is a serpent. Right. His angels, the demons or devils, if you will, right. they're going to be cast down for a short time. Right. But there are there is, there is uh, again, you got a head angel just like, you got to have rank and order in right. the kingdom. Yeah. Or you don't have a kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know? You have to have boundaries. I don't get them a Democrat side of the story. Well, so when it, when it Gabriel, when it Gabriel that came and told yes. Daniel that right. we heard your prayer, but he was withstood, was and right. that Michael right. came right. and right. fought right. to where he could come and get. 21 days right. later, he brought the message. That's right, three weeks. That's right. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Was he late? No, I don't think he was late at all. I think he was right on time. Hallelujah. Sometimes we think that, that we don't, if we don't get the answer today or tomorrow, God doesn't deserve us. But that don't necessarily mean that. Go ahead. I'm not trying to take that I love this. Chapter 10 is where you're referring to, and Daniel, if y'all want to read it, verse 23. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia. Withstood me. That's not a man fighting against uh-uh. the spirit. Withstood me. You just said 21 days, but lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, etc. And so Michael came and he gave assistance and to uh, to this man here who most people believe is Gabriel there. It uh-huh. may not be, but it's definitely one of the princes, and Michael had to assist him. Yeah. But Gabriel did give a birth announcement concerning John the Baptist. He appeared to, to Zacharias. Then he, he appeared, of course, to Mary, to right. Joseph in a dream. So he does give messages. And yeah. But to Michael, again, I guess it's the chief warrior, I guess you could say, definitely the, the archangel. Yeah. But most believe this is probably Michael here without actually saying, I don't believe that it was Michael. It may have been. I'm not sorry, uh, Gabriel. But it was Michael that helped this this angel of God. As another demon or devil, as we call him, withstood him. So for, you know, even now, brother, you know, there's a, there's a battle between God's angels and evil. I believe God's angels help us. Right. The spirit of the devil come against us. God can send an angel. He can do it without an angel. He set it all up. He can dispatch an angel to to war for us. Right. To help us. We have the Holy Ghost in us. That's right. right. But also the angels of God are ministering spirits. They're ministering spirits. Send forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. And, right. And, and he, also said, he also said that uh, they would be encamped around God. Yeah, that's right. They, they, they are the Lord. Lord. So 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 why are they there camped around? Right. right. They're there to protect us. Sure. And we allow it. Well, he delivers the Bible. He delivers them. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, you know, the fear of God. 
We uh, we have demons that comes against us, and they come in the mind. They got they make you think all kind of things and stuff like that. And, That's right. Um, works of the devil. He he does he does bad works. He works really against the really bad. Our bodies. He fights against our bodies. But you know something? As long as we as long as we got the Holy Ghost, Amen. That's all he can do. That's really all. I mean, he may take of my life, but you know what the Bible says? He said, Paul said for me to die is gain. Right. Yeah. So actually death Come on. is a release into another dimension of God. That's right. You know, where the Bible says we're being translated from one place to another by the Spirit of God. Amen. Spirit of God does this. It's just like Philip was down there in Samaria and then he went over there to, to uh and come upon the eunuch and baptize the eunuch. And the Bible says that uh, Philip wasn't seen. He was gone. He, he was seen somewhere else. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, yeah, it took him away. So, woo, I mean, getting caught up in the Spirit. I'd be like, Paul, I said, man, I'm, you know, I want to be called up into the third heaven and see those things that man shouldn't be able to see. But, you know, we see it through the Spirit of God. And we, you know, the Bible also says, here's another thing, the Bible also says that the Spirit searches out all things, even the deep things of God. The Spirit does that, so if we'll seek and search and ask like we said a while ago, then we'll start receiving more and more from the Lord. But when we ask, we've got to believe. Yes, God. We've got to believe. That God hears our prayer. Not only that, He hears our prayer. He's going to answer our prayer. Amen. We got to believe that. Mark and Job I know you know all I'm saying, but maybe some, perhaps. But right. Maybe. That's what I'm hoping. Job chapter, in the book of Job, if Satan could, he would have killed Job. Right. God allowed him. and said, "Don't take his life." You can do anything. I'm going to let you go ahead. We're going to test him, prove him, whatever. But don't take his life. Right. So say, I don't believe Satan can kill us. Yeah, he, he can come against us, afflict us, and torment us. And people don't have God can be, you know, devil possessed. And I believe he can move people to eventually maybe commit the suicide and thing. Yeah. But if Satan could kill him, he probably would have killed a lot of us. Oh yeah, you know, he would. God is off the earth. We might be with the Lord if we're saved, but with our testimony, our witness, our teaching, our preaching, all of that would be the end. Uh huh. So I'm the hand of God. That, actually, what what what's going to live? We're going to, the Bible says that the, that the dead in Christ are going to rise first. So there's the spirit that God gave that went back to God when we die yes. is going to come back. That same spirit that raised Jesus up from the dead is going to quicken our mortal bodies. Right. Going to raise us up. So the only thing that man can do is kill the body. They can't destroy the the real life, and and the only one that can do that is God. He said that He was the only one that could destroy the body and the soul. Yeah, that's real death. I don't want to die the real death. I, I you know I, I don't want to die the other death either if I don't have to. But I I'd rather die that death than die the the real death. I don't want to die that death. I can come back from the first death because that spirit's going to raise me back up. Thank you, Jesus. But if I'm not living for God, that spirit's going to raise me up, and then I'm going to be judged to hell fire. That's what Daniel said. Daniel 12. Some mm-hmm. will be raised to eternal life and some to everlasting contempt. Right. In other words, there's going to be a resurrection of the body. Even the wicked dead are going to have a body that can be suffering torment throughout all eternity. He's yes. not going to be glorified like God's people the same, but he's going to give them a body that can be tormented, can be hungry, thirsty, scream and holler the pains of eternal damnation forever and ever. That's what it says. I believe it. Amen. We don't want to go to hell. That's, I, I believe it 100%. That's right. But, uh, yes, that's good. 
I love the word of the Lord, and I love Amen. talking about the word of the Lord. Yes. And it helps me grow in grace. Oh, yes. Right. Well, too, on that. James will fell to you guys. Yeah, fuck chapter two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck the whole thing. Fuck the whole thing. Fuck the whole thing. Fuck the whole thing. Real good. Yeah. Real good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm proud to be a child of the King. Hallelujah. The, um, anybody else before we close off tonight? We had church tonight. Hallelujah. I like church. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I like when the Spirit of the Lord gets in and people the Lord is are moved by the Holy Ghost. The Lord, yes. God, the Lord come forward. So, if anybody wants a prayer, we're going to invite some up to the here. We'll pray the prayer of faith. You know, I was wondering tonight, why does everybody come to this side over here? I know, I, I know. If something draws them to that side, I think. Oh, that's why they're coming and following the Lord. All right. So, bless you. All right. All right.
Brother William Rive got a birthday soon, so we want to go ahead and sing it to him now. Huh? Oh. Really? When did it pass? Oh. The ninth. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh. Well, we still say you had a birthday. Yeah. That's usually when you say you have a birthday to somebody. It's after it, it was done. Now, a lot of people want to do it before. Yeah. You know, before their birthday, but I think they do it after their birthday. That way you're saying, I'm not your birthday. And somebody that had a birthday. I'm playing. I'm, I'm, I, that's not, I'm not serious. You can do it however you want to do it. We can do it both. We can do it both times. For that matter. I mean, it's a good thing to honor people. <laughs> All right, let's sing happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs>